guys are with Harlem Children's Zone. Every month I come to this meeting and I bring this packet of flyers that you see in the back. It's a list of our events every month, every year that we host here in Harlem, Central Harlem in particular. We have 27 sites, including our two schools, Promise Academy 1 and Promise Academy 2. There are two events this month that I would like to highlight and I would like for you to share um, within uh, the community. We are providing free tax preparation at six of our sites within Harlem. Also, we're having a resource and employment fair on February 22nd. A flyer is in the packet. In addition to that, I would like to exchange my contact information with all of the community-based organizations that are here or anyone that's having an event. We would like to share it within our community. So please share your contact information with me. I'll give you my card, you'll give me yours. We can create flyers, also make copies of flyers and have them delivered to your site. We can also exchange information electronically and you will be able to find uh, my contact information at the top of each of these packets if you're unable to see me for my card. Thank you very much and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Uh, this is Larry Marshall. Hello, beloved community of Harlem. How are you tonight? Um, I just wanted to make a few quick announcements. One is Nan is going to be having a candidates forum. I know everybody knows there's a lot of forums happening up until this race. How many people know that there's an election, a special election on the 14th? Okay. So the word is getting around, so that's good. But there is going to be a candidates forum at Nan on February 8th at 7 o'clock p.m. So that's the day before this one that you just got handed out. So I just want you to have that on your radar, okay? Seven o'clock, seven o'clock p.m. All right, thank you. <laughs> Next up we have Shirley Jones, Sybil Hurd, and Renee Harrison. And the, uh, the more neatly you spell on the sign in sheet, the more likely I'll pronounce your name correctly. So we have Shirley, Sybil, and Renee. My name is Shirley Jones. I live in Harlem on 125th Street. I'm a vendor on 125th Street and I'm a retired social worker uh, back up here. I just wanted to make you aware tonight of something that's going on that you may not be aware of. There's a, a serious problem going on in Harlem. Senior citizens are being evicted. I mean, systematically evicted from HDFCs and um, Mitchell Lamas. And these are board-sponsored um, buildings where you own shares. And uh, being on 125th Street, I get to talk to a lot of people. And I hear stories about this that you wouldn't believe, which is why I'm here tonight, because I thought I was the only one. I've been in court two years. I know how to fight back, but there are others that don't. So what we're trying to do is get as much support as we can we had our first organizing meeting uh, last Saturday, and uh, you'll be hearing about us. But Syl will, will tell you a story about what's that's really urgent. She's due to be evicted um, Friday. Wow. And she's been back and forth in court, back and forth in court for almost two years. And she's dealing with the board. There are a lot of problems with this board, I understand. As it is with the board that I'm dealing with, I'm a renter. The HDFCs are not to, uh, supposed to be rented out. They're supposed to be sold. Shares are supposed to be sold in the building. My landlord is three board members. They've been on the board for 30 years. They turned it into a rental. So here we are. What they see now is a lot of money. There's a lot of greed out there because they think that a lot of money is coming into Harlem, which it is. Developers are getting rich, landlords are getting rich, and they want to get rich. And courts so, are getting paid too. And court, right. Well, a lot of people are getting paid off. Yeah. The yeah. problem is that Judges. the... Judges. Where's... Uh, that is the time. She said I could have a time. Oh, you could have a time. Yeah, okay. 
That's the real topic. The problem is um, there's no oversight. Nobody's looking at this. And it seems like the politicians and the, and the institutions that would deal with this type of thing don't want to get involved. Somebody's scared. So what we want to do is bring this to the light. We need your help. So you know about it now. Talk to your neighbors. Make sure that they're not going through the same thing because there are a lot of us out there that are going through this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cheryl. I think you're that Good evening, family, community board 10. Happy New Year to all. Peace and blessings. I stand before you. Basically,